Hello! So I've been asked to do an update on this, and I'm going to try to hold the camera more steady so no one gets ill. As you can see now, we have the clownfish. I picked them up recently, and I have given away my poor little damsel, who was getting bullied. But, instead of hosting the giant anemone, the clowns have decided that they quite enjoy this small fuzzy mushroom. As you can see, the other striped damsel also likes to hang out around the mushroom, and it has caused a little bit of strife in the family. Zoom out here. I'll go over quickly what I've acquired recently. So, we have some giant snails. Got them from a tank teardown, and they are quite possibly some of the biggest turbos I've ever seen. Hey, stop. And they don't fight ever until I'm videotaping things. Now, the toadstool... The giant toadstool was actually fully extended with all its polyps until I walked away and came back. And I'm assuming this guy ran all over it when I wasn't looking. And these are quite interesting. I got them for one fish, two fish. I've never seen them before. They look like, to me, stalking green star polyps. Now, if anyone else has ever seen anything like it, please let me know. Because as someone who doesn't keep SPS, they are quite interesting at the fact that they form stalks. And of course, the starter coral for everyone, the giant Kenyan tree, which is also a little angry right now. Not sure why I did to annoy it. We have an SPS frag in the back, which may or may not live. It's more an experiment than anything else. I'll run through the livestock right quick, just because I don't know if I ever actually have. Mushroom. Fuzzy mushroom. Some zoanthids, which are also annoyed because the cleaner shrimp ran over them. A small hammer. Don't pay any attention to all the algae in the corner. I couldn't get by the hammer to actually fix it. Another mushroom. The clown's mushroom. Another mushroom. You're photobombing. Here we have a stalk of something old. I think it was an old hammer or something. And it is covered in Ricardia mushrooms, and I love it. It's pretty cool. And of course, we have the giant anemone and the clowns who are slowly getting closer to it, so maybe one day. There's also some fuzzy mushrooms underneath the toadstool, as well as in the back. And I'm probably forgetting something because I'm horrible at remembering these things. But I think that's all the livestock that's in the tank. As you can see now, it's more of a wait and grow game because I don't have that much space left anymore. Which is alright. I, I quite enjoy having a full tank. Alright, anyone who have any questions or anything about it, anyone want to know where or how I got anything, just send me a message. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my second little nano reef adventure. And the cleaner shrimp did not jump in front of the camera the whole time like he normally does, so I'm quite pleased. Bye-bye.